for the Lakers all season. We've really seen this first line, at least Ryan Dickinson on that first line of, de of defense been a factor. They're without Ben Addison tonight, Tristan Francis slotting in in his place. How much of a factor have they been on the defensive side of things? They've been really good for the Lakers. I've been very impressed with Dickinson and Francis. Francis laid the body a couple times. Dickinson's created a couple offensive opportunities for the Lakers, and right off the bat, we're going to get a penalty. A tripping call just three seconds into the period, and well, I guess it'll be Tyler Flack shaking his head on the way to the penalty box as the Lakers will go to a penalty kill. It looked like, it, you know, Flack just lost the face off. And as the centerman for Buff State tried to get by him, it looked like he just got tripped up. A tough break for the Lakers and an immediately an opportunity for Buffalo State. Face off won by the Bengals. They'll set up the shot just wide of the net to the left from Lucas Patton. Logar centers it, and Shane Bull trying to get it out. He doesn't, but Josh LeBlanc will on the breakaway. Short-handed, LeBlanc to the forehand. Doesn't get going. Ryan Dickinson shot off the post, and it's Emil Norman coming up massively for Buffalo State. Well, LeBlanc uses his speed, gets out ahead, beats the back check, to the goal, tried to go backhand. Norman, great job covering the post with his pad. Loose puck out in front. Dickinson almost sent it home. You take a look here on the replay. LeBlanc putting on the Jets to get the opportunity. And Dickinson right on the doorstep. But Norman able to cover up nearly for the Lakers. Shorthanded. Minute 20 left on the Laker penalty kill. I'm like, that might have been the best opportunity we've seen the Lakers have since they scored. I think it was a better opportunity than the one that they scored. I, I know it was a cleaner look. LeBlanc just kind of biffed it right in front of that. Absolutely. Lakers nearly got their first shorthanded goal of the year. Cozy Rev back out to the point with Hayden Ford. A cross ice pass. The shot from Parker Allison on the right faceoff circle goes wide. Allison once again. Hayden Ford, his shot blocked away by Ryan Bunka and sent down into the corner. Bunka doing it on both sides tonight, has the goal and now blocked shot. Flipped out of the zone by Robillard. And the Lakers, only 30 seconds left to kill on this penalty. Great clear by the Lakers, allowed a line change in this Buffalo State power play that's only operating at 14%. Continuing to struggle thus far, 20 seconds left for them to work. Baizau flings it back along the boards and Bull into the scrum with Warmuth and Joe Glamos down there. Joe Frazee, Glamos is backhand, blocked by Kozakowski and blocked again. Shane Bull shielding off Joe Glamos and gets it out. So the Lakers kill their first penalty of the night and they're back to full strength. 17.50 to go in the second period. Fantastic penalty kill from the Lakers there. And the Lakers generated the best chance of the power play. Short-handed themselves. Kozakowski coming up with a big save there. Hugging the post with that right pad. Keeping Buffalo State with a goose egg on the scoreboard. Figueroa slips and Sleeth into the zone. Deke around and throws it to the center, but Broman will come up with it. Francis, shot from the point. He scores! Tristan Francis with a low wrister gets by Emil Norman and the Lakers lead it two to nothing. Tristan Francis beats Norman low to the right side and what have we been saying since the jump? The Lakers creating chaos out in front of that and that time I don't even think Norman saw it at all. Sleeth and it looked like Arcan out in front of net disrupting Norman's vision and Francis Putting it home, great shot from the blue line. Francis with it, not only his first goal, but his first points of his Laker career. The outlet pass to Arcan. We'll try again, and back to back, and belly to belly go the Lakers. It's Jackson Arcan. Lakers lead it three to nothing. Well, Mike, you and I both love Luke Combs, and when it rains, it pours the Lakers. Two goals in a matter of 20 seconds. Arcan did a great job on the Francis goal. Screening Norman, and this time he gets a chance for himself, puts it home. Great pass, and the Lakers 
out to the 3-0 lead. Jackson Arcan with his second goal of the season. It was just a quick outlet pass from the right side of the Laker half of the neutral zone. And Arcan just nets it home, the low blocker side of Emil Norman. 